What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Today we're going over Aerodrome Finance was down 6.9% today. We did briefly wick below a dollar. This dollar support area is massively critical. Now we talked about the possibility of that 382 support area and keeping a close eye on it during the last arrow video. And it does look like we happened to breach that 382 area and fell much lower. So we're down to $434 million market cap now with uh, infinite max supply and 1 billion coins in circulation. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Arrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Arrow. This is what we had drawn last time. We said we needed to keep a very, very close eye on that 618. We did have the green box there, and unfortunately, we did capitulate below it. We actually smacked right into the 382 and wicked right down to the 236. We wicked all the way down to 82 cents for this coin, guys. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Now, the dollar area is going to be a very, very powerful support area for you guys. So just keep that in the back of your mind. The whole round number is just always a heavy resistance and always a heavy support area. So breaking below a dollar is going to be quite difficult. But if we do happen to break below a dollar, it's going to be quite difficult to re-overtake. Now, during the day, obviously, you have a wick here. So we did break it briefly, but we don't have a full body below the six one, or below the 382 yet. So indicators right now, man, we're still capitulating. I mean, we could put in another bearish, um, a bearish engulfing candle today. This is a very, very deep MACD too. So coming out of this bearish movement, man, I would expect once we start flipping bullish, this thing should make a very, very nice recovery, uh, such as all the other coins that have capitulated the last couple of weeks to months. Now RSI, man, the RSI is completely felt from where we first started back here in February, 2024 on Coinbase. So the RSI is still in a free fall in the day chart. And we are heading towards that green buy zone here on the WTX. So the day chart right now, what we want to focus on is just staying above a dollar for all intents and purposes, the dollar, man, right there on the sticky note, slap it on your forehead so you don't forget it. Now, if we do happen to break below the 382, obviously the 82 cents is your next support. I hope that does not hit, um, but we always have to talk about worst case scenarios. And the 82 cent support was a very critical resistance area going back to March of 2024, guys. March of 2024 wasn't that long ago. So I'd be keeping an eye on a dollar for a possible reversal to the upside. Worst case scenario is 80 cents and a reversal to the upside. Indicators are pretty much reset, guys. So I don't think we have that much more downwards movement to go. Now, if we go to the four hour, the four hour is already showing. Say we wicked right up that 382 and we got a buy signal. Look how deep this buy signal is on the WTX. The deepest buy signals we've ever gotten on arrow guys so keep that in mind too we also first time we've ever been this deep in the green we really don't count the beginning back here because that's when the coin came out on coinbase this is massive right here guys think about it the green is flashing usually when the green flashes it's saying hey it might be a good time to buy a little bit here look how deeply oversold we are and then the macd is about ready to flip bullish here on the four hours so the four hours looking crazy bullish guys which leads me to believe that 382 on the one day or on the one day chart that 382 is going to hold up. I think the dollars going to hold up. I don't think we'll be breaking below a dollar here. I'd be more focusing on the short-term time frame reversal. And our next main resistance area is most likely back up here uh, at that 618 at about a dollar. I'd say a dollar 30 to a dollar 40 is your next stop. So hopefully Bitcoin doesn't shit the bed because Arrow's starting to make a nice recovery back up to the 618. So as long as BTC just bops around where it's at right now and doesn't capitulate much lower, Arrow should be working its way back up to that 618 area. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, you can just send me a super chat in the comments and I'll get to your coin as soon as possible. Thank you.